am Mark and this is my journey through tarot. Come on. So let's go through the list. These are the Kamala Harris vice president picks. We're going to do them one or two a day as I start to learn who they are. And so I'm looking at the list right now. Josh Shapiro is the uh, governor of Pennsylvania. Then we've got uh, Mark Kelly, the Arizona senator and uh, astronaut and husband of uh, Cap. Uh, I've forgotten her name. That's a shame who got shot in the head at a rally. Um, and then uh, Roy Cooper, a North Carolina governor. Andrew Bashir, who is the governor of a very red uh, Kentucky. You've got the Gretchen Whitmer, Michigan governor, who they had a plot to kill her. And uh, J.B. Pritzker, Illinois governor, who's a you know billionaire or millionaire at least, and many times over, and um, and philanthropist. And, you know, so I, I was off this. I don't know Josh Shapiro, so we'll start with Mark Kelly. We're going to talk about Mark Kelly. He's the uh, governor from uh, Arizona. So here we go. I hope you like the video. If you like the video, please, I almost forgot to do my plug. So please do like the video. And if you haven't subscribed, you know, subscribe, please. And thank you very much for watching. Here we go. So we're going to use this beautiful deck of cards. This is the um, Pierpoint Morgan Visconti Sforza uh, Tarachi deck. And they're beautiful, uh, ancient, uh, designed uh, as replicas of ancient cards. So stay at the end of the video and I'll tell you all about them. They're really amazing. But um, anyway, but they are hard to interpret because these images are so foreign to us now that they use here. So and these were, you know, playing cards originally. So when these cards were used, um, you know, the images that you'd see on here uh, were common uh, or, you know, were commonly associated with what they meant to uh, depict. And now, you know, what is a page? Uh, you know, what is a court jester? What does a knight really look like? But, uh, you know, so that's what you have. So we use these for, um, and uh, speaking of uh, knights, um, you know, a fighter for the government, that just reminds me of an astronaut. So Mark Kelly, who is the uh, Arizona uh, senator, I think. Yeah. And, um, and wife of I want to say Kathy Giffords. I'm not sure if that's the right name because I don't want to um, mistake it. But um, or Gifford. Yeah. Anyway, you know who I'm talking about. But Mark Kelly is who we need to focus on, as a matter of fact. And uh, Kamala Harris. So is he even a? Um, is he on the radar for Kamala? I mean, they say that he's one of the, the ten or so, ten or twelve picks, I guess, that it could be. So, but you know, before we do all of that. Let's have just a moment, you know, like I always do, a meditation. So, here we go. To Mark Kelly. Amazing story, as a matter of fact. You know, a hero already uh, stands by his wife, uh, takes it becomes her voice in the Congress where she was already. And it's a beautiful story. So, well, we need not to know so much about him, but we really need to know about um, Kamala Harris in picking him. So, let's see, is he going to make it into the top? Three. That's how we'll do it. He'll, will he eventually make it, because it has to be that kind of elimination process, doesn't it? Uh, in, internally. So let's get three cards out of here for, for Mark Kelly, whether he gets to the top three. Okay. Four. Cameron Harris. First card up. Okay, well these are pentacles. This is the five of pentacles. And uh, this in French says uh, a good right. You know, so the Five of Pentacles, but though typically is needing help and being just outside of where you can can get some help. Um, so um, the Five of Pentacles is a, a bit hopeful, but almost uh, a, a bit hopeful. There's help right there if you can get it. So it starts out with that, as far as uh, being the top three. 
The next card up is going to be, now if they had just been a three of something, that's pretty strong, but no. So now we got to one, two, three, four, six, the seven of wands, which is a bit of a, um, a fight. So seven of wands, you might consider this seven uh, candidates. And uh, so he's just one among the seven. And then, um, so the nine of cups is wanting to really be proud of your uh, you know, emotional achievements, which he is. So this is kind of what we've got going for him. His, his energy, his value right now is, is, is wanting, it's lacking, it's needing something more. If you can imagine someone with that kind of a, a resume uh, needing some more, but there's something lacking in his, his value. But it's right there within grasp. He can step inside and get it. So he's got an element here that he can get. But with the uh, Seven of Wands, it's still a fight against all these other equally fierce uh, wands. And then with the uh, Nine of Cups, is that he's got a, tr a trophy uh, case full of emotional reasons why uh, him and, and other people think he should be here. Let's do one more card and uh, maybe we'll do more. We'll start with one. Let me make the top three. So this is the Four of Wands. Again, a good right, but uh, it's kind of smaller celebrations onto something larger. Uh, the Four of Wands, because uh, Wands are actions, plans, forward movement. Um, he could he could make it into the top three. Maybe he's going to be in the top four. So that's that's as far as we're going to get for Mark Kelly. Hey, I'm going to show you the cards now. Hang on a minute. Okay, so these are Pierpoint Morgan's Visconti Sforza Tarachi deck. So these come in a great box. I mean, you really feel like you've got something of value here, and they've got some interesting stuff inside. This is the uh, these are the uh, uh, rich folks who um, would have had these cards uh, created: uh, Bianca Visconti and uh, Francesco Sforza. So there we go with that. We dump the cards out. There's a cool instruction book back here that is in full color with the cards and easy to read. So that's great. So these cards are from like around the late 1700s, I think. And when you spread them out, they're huge is, is one problem, but they're very interesting to look at. I just don't know that they show up as well on um, the camera as they do in person. So I don't use them uh, on the camera that much, but they are very interesting. The court cards, and the uh, Major Arcana are not too difficult to decipher, although they are difficult to decipher. This is the Fool, for instance. And, um, but the uh, Pip cards, the numbered cards, you know, you kind of kind of know your, your divination. And, you know, these weren't originally used for divination. They were just used for playing a game. And uh, somehow, I think the Gypsies got a hold of this stuff and decided to do something else with them. But uh, these will give you a run for your money.